Hello there and welcome to my YouTube channel Climinator 1978 or 1978 whichever way you want to pronounce it uh, just to let you know this is going to be a short video today um, it's about the recent revelations regarding to Scream 7 as you are well aware that Miss, uh, Melissa Barriera, or I hope I got her name right. Uh, apparently, she's been fired, I believe, due to some posts that she made. Now, I saw the posts that she shared on Instagram or something along those lines. As well as Jenna Ortega leaving. Now, I'm not going to go into the politics that she shared. But it sounds like she wasn't being anti-Semitic. It sounds like she was more concerned about the innocent people on both sides of the continents on both sides of the borders, I should say, that are uh, actually being killed. Innocent people. She wasn't pro-Israel and she wasn't pro-Hamas, from what I could see. She was on about the everyday people trying to live their lives and are being killed for it and yet she's been fired for it she's been fired it would appear for speaking out and defending everyday people would it have been different if a male celebrity said it more than likely. Now, I cannot understand the way people work in Hollywood. It claims to have moved on from the Me Too movement, and, you know, I understand the Me Too movement in many ways, because... A lot of people seem to think that the Me Too movement was, you know, a movement aimed purely for defending women. It's not. It's aimed for defending women and men. That's why it's called Me Too. It's not gender, it's not gender specific. But that's a topic for another day. My issue is that Hollywood is still a very sexist business. It has not learned anything. And if it wants to win, if Spyglass wants to win their fans back, then they need to rehire Melissa Barriera, Jenna Ortega. And get the OGs back. Nev Campbell, Courtney Cox, Hayden Panettiere, David Arquette, although you'd have to use him for flashbacks or something. You know, some de-aging maybe. Patrick Dempsey as Mark Kincaid. And, of course, the one that Everyone is asking for Matthew Lillard. Somehow, I don't think this is going to happen now. Because Spyglass have literally shot themselves in the foot. So, there's a couple of ways I think you can save Scream 7 from being completely cancelled. 
one. You option off Scream 7 to another studio. One that is more competent. Like, say, Bloomhouse. Yeah, all right, Halloween Noons was questionable. But Halloween 2018 and Halloween Kills are fairly competent films. I know Kills didn't get a good reception, but it's still within the same tone lines as Halloween 2018, which is a solid film in itself. There's also the other option. There's a fan film called Scream Legacy. It's not particularly great as a film, but you could make it canon. You could do it like this. Scream Legacy, the film itself, follows Sydney's 20-something-year-old daughter. And... All right, that makes for one hell of a continuity error there. As it's set... Two years ago now. But... The thing is... You could write in a plot line in Scream 7 where that daughter was born shortly after the events of Scream 3. Like maybe she's the daughter of Mark Kincaid or maybe, just maybe, She's the daughter of someone else from Sydney, but Sydney could have had a meltdown of some kind after Scream 3. A mini meltdown, perhaps, and gave her daughter up for adoption. I mean, you know, this is just me spitballing an idea here, and... Either that, or Sydney and her eldest daughter had a good bond between them until the daughter found out that her uncle, Roman, was this deluded serial killer. And... There was a fraction, uh, a friction between her and Sydney, and she, you know, the daughter just went off the rails a bit and cut all ties from Sydney. And Sydney found that bringing up the memories of her daughter just, it was too much, which would explain why Sydney refer, never referred to her in Screams 4, 5, and Obviously, not six. However, in Scream 7, they are forced to work together when a ghost face kills the friend of the daughter. And there's some clue as to the fact that the ghost face is after both the daughter and Sydney. So the daughter... Realises she's got to get to her mother before Ghostface does. That's just my idea. Spitballing ideas. If they can't get the Carpenter sisters back and the OG cast back. Anyway... Like I said, Melissa Barriera should not have been sacked and this more than likely wouldn't have led to this huge debacle. I'm just... 
I was so hyped up for Scream 7. Now I'm completely and utterly torn. I don't want another Scream 3. Ugh. Have a merry screamless, everyone. <laughs>